Acox Green is an area and ward of southeast Birmingham, England. It is named after the Acock family, who built a large house there in 1370. Acox Green is one of four wards making up Yardley Formal District. It is occasionally spelled Acox Green. It has frequently been noted on lists of unusual place names. Stockfield was once a separate village located in the north of the ward. It merged with Acox after housing developments during the 20th century. The ward now covers an area 4.773 square kilometers, 2 square miles, including the Edenbridge Road estate, Gospel estate, Pemberley Road flats, Stockfield estate, part of the Tysley estate and the Yarnfield estate. The ward covers parts of the B27 and B11 postcode areas. Topic: History Acox Green developed north of the current centre at the roundabout where the Warwick Road meets Shirley and Westley Roads. This area was known Tenchley or Tenelia, meaning ten clearings. The settlement that developed here has completely disappeared. Hiron Hall and Broom Hall were moated manor houses located in the area. The area of Fox Hollies in the ward receives its name from the time when the Fox family bought the farm belonging to the Atty Hollies in the 15th century. The earliest known reference to Acox Green is in the Yardley Parish Register of 1604. In 1626 Acox Green House and other estates were given by Richard Acock to his son as a wedding gift. In 1725, the Warwick Road was turnpiked. During the end of the 18th century, the Warwick and Birmingham Canal was cut through Acox Green. This resulted in wharves being constructed at Stockfield Road and Yardley Road. The increased prosperity brought by the canal prompted the construction of farms and large residences. Acox Green began to expand in the 19th century when it was connected to the Birmingham to Oxford Railway in 1852. At this time there were three hamlets along the Warwick Road, Flint Green, Acox Green, and Westley Brook. Westley Brook was to become the centre of modern Acox Green. As Acox Green was closer to the station, it developed faster than the old centre. In 1911, Yardley, of which Acox Green was a part of, was absorbed into Birmingham. Birmingham was in need of housing and in the mid-1920s, municipal housing was built on around half of Acox Green, resulting in a large increase in the population. Many new residents were unwelcome and existing residents moved away leading to the nickname Snobs Green. Acox Green benefited from an increase in commerce brought about by the newcomers. It developed into a major shopping area and churches and meeting halls were extended to accommodate more people. Trams first arrived in Acox Green in 1916. They first stopped at Broad Road, before stopping at the Green from 1922. The center of Acox Green was remodeled in 1932, and a large island incorporating the tram terminus was created. After the tram service ended, the island was grassed over to become the Green. Acox Green was the location for a custom-built factory which made parts for the Bristol Hercules radial engines. Construction of the factory commenced in late 1936 on the site of Westwood's market gardening business near the canal. The factory was the Rover Shadow Factory and it was operational by July 1937. Towards the end of the war, the Rover factory began to produce Meteor tank engines, and the Meteorite engine. The factory was visited by King George VI in March 1938. The military connection the factory had made Acox Green a target for German bombers. There are a number of statutorily listed buildings, cottages at 89 to 93 Arden Road, Grade 2, the Baptist Church on Yardley Road, Grade 2, the Baptist Church Hall on Alexander Road, Grade 2. 
As well as this, there are locally listed buildings, the Fire Station grade B and Caretaker's House grade A on Alexander Road, Police Station on Yardley Road, grade B, A House on the corner of Elmden Road, and the Library on Shirley Road grade A. In Fox Hollies Park, there is a Bronze Age burnt mound with scheduled ancient monument status. Stockfield Estate was one of Birmingham's many interwar housing estates, built by the local council during the 1920s and 1930s to rehouse people from inner city slums. The houses were popular on their completion thanks to the inclusion of electricity, running water, gardens, indoor toilets, and bathrooms. The houses were constructed out of concrete and were designed in the Parkinson style. However, the housing was declared defective by law in 1985 and structural tests carried out in 1986 concluded that damage was so severe that repair would not be possible. This meant that the 477 houses had to be demolished. However, Birmingham City Council did not have the financial services available to carry out the work. Residents of the estate set up an estate development group, and architects Webb Seeger Morehouse were invited to prepare a master plan for the estate. They worked in partnership with the residents and the City Council. The master plan and the proposal to establish a community association were publicly announced in October 1989 in a public meeting to the residents of the estate who unanimously approved the plans. Stockfield Community Association was formed in 1991 and a redevelopment partnership was then formed between the Community Association, Birmingham City Council, Halifax Building Society and Bromford Corinthia Housing Association, with Anthony Collins solicitors and Webb Seeger Morehouse community architects giving support. Wimpy Homes were appointed as the developers and work on the first phase of the estate commenced in July 1991. This was met with opposition from some residents refusing to move and the crime on the estate was so bad that the washing machine in the show home provided by Wimpy was stolen. The first phase, 17 Bromford family homes for rent, were opened in the summer of 1991 by the Lord Mayor of Birmingham. By 1998, all four phases of the estate were completed by Wimpy Homes. Topic Demography The 2001 population census recorded that there were 26,635 people living in Acox Green with a population density of 5,580 people per square kilometer. The 1991 population census recorded 26,087 residents living in the ward, a decline of 6.7% from 1981. 51.5% of the population is female and 48.5% is male. 19.6% of the ward's population consists of ethnic minorities compared with 29.6% for Birmingham in general. 80.4% of the population are white making it the largest ethnic group in the ward. Chinese was the smallest ethnic group in the ward at 0.7%, compared with the Birmingham average of 1.1%. 13% of the ward's population was born outside the United Kingdom, compared with the Birmingham average of 16.5% and the national average of 9.3%. Christianity was the most prominent religion in the ward at 64.3%, above the city average of 59.1%. Islam was the second most selected religion at 7.7%, although no religion had a higher percentage at 13.7%. 98.8% of the population live in households, which is above the Birmingham average of 98.3% and the national average of 98.2%. 1.2% live in communal establishments. There were 11,008 occupied households in the ward at the time of the census with an average of 2.4 people per household, equal to the national average. 305 households were vacant. 
57.2% of the total households were owner-occupied, below the city average of 60.4% and the national average of 68.7%. The majority of the houses in Acox Green were terraced 39%. Semi-detached houses were also common in the area, 36.4%. 17.5% of people are of a pensionable age and 58.2% are of a working age. 9.1% of the ward population was unemployed, above the city average of 6.8% and the national average of 4.1%. 36.6% of the unemployed had been in such a situation for the long term, and 13.5% had never worked. The majority of those that were employed worked in the manufacturing sector 18.6%. Wholesale and retail trade and vehicle repairs finance and real estate and business activities were both major employment sectors in the area at 16.4%. The largest employer based in Acox Green was Eaton Electric Limited, employing approximately 750 people until its closure in 2018. Topic: <laughs> Politics. The Acox Green ward is currently represented at Birmingham City Council by two Labour councillors, Stuart Stacey and John O'Shea and one Liberal Democrat councillor, Roger Harmer. Nationally, Acox Green is part of Birmingham, Yardley constituency represented in the House of Commons of the UK Parliament since 2015 by Jess Phillips of the Labour Party. Topic: Education. Within its borders are seven primary schools and two secondary schools. Acox Green Primary School was created in 2004 upon the amalgamation of Acox Green Junior School and Acox Green Infant School. It is located in buildings dating to 1908. It was opened in 1909 by Worcestershire County Council and was transferred to Birmingham City Council in 1911. The school consisted of boys, girls and infants departments, but in 1932 it was reorganized into senior mixed and junior mixed departments. The senior mixed department became a separate school in 1945 and the junior mixed department became a primary school at the same time. It currently has approximately 480 pupils. The Cottesbrick Infant and Junior Schools opened on 6 September 1968 as a combined school. As the school was so oversubscribed, which resulted in the use of the local church hall for lessons, it was decided to split the school into an infant school and a junior school. The infant school remained in the original school buildings whilst the junior school was moved over the road with the original head teacher taking charge. Cottesbrick Infant School has 329 pupils whilst Cottesbrick Junior School has 220. Holy Souls Primary School is a voluntary-aided Roman Catholic primary school. It is run by the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Birmingham in partnership with Birmingham Local Education Authority. The school was established in 1907 and moved into its current premises in 1968. There are 401 pupils on roll. Oakland's Primary School, which was a primary school on Dolphin Lane, was constructed in 1928 and opened in 1929 as Oakland's County Primary School. It was expanded in 1932. In 1950, one of the timber buildings which formed the infant's block was dismantled and reassembled in the newly constructed Gilbertston Estate to form Gilbertston Primary School. It currently has 335 pupils on roll. Archbishop Ilsley Catholic Technology College and Sixth Form Center is a specialist technology college with a sixth form center. 
Construction commenced in 1955 and the school was opened in 1957. The school is named in memory of Archbishop Edward Ilsley, who built the first church in Acox Green. Nine Styles Technology College has over 1,300 laptop computers. It is attached to Fox Holly's Leisure Center, which complements Acox Green's other sports, gym, and recreational facilities. Fox Holly's School and Performing Arts College is a special school and used to be in the western end of the ward, but relocated to Moseley. Kimichi School is an independent music school sited on Yardley Road, which opened in 2014 on the site of the former Eastbourne House School. Adult education takes place at Stone Hall, Archbishop Ilsley Technology College, Nine Styles Technology College, and Fox Holly's Leisure Center. City College run an IT training facility from the Green. There is a yoga institute on Westley Road. <laughs> Places of interest Acox Green also has numerous parks and green spots, including Fox Holly's Park in the south which is home to a man-made lake called Round Pool. The roundabout where Warwick Road meets Shirley Road and Westley Road, despite being a tram and bus terminus until the 1950s, is called the Green by most locals. This is the main shopping area in Acox Green. Most of the general retail shops are located here and further along Warwick Road. There is also a library and a bowling alley. Outside the green you will not find many shops except convenience stores and off-licenses, although there is a large modern bingo hall located on Stockfield Road. Acox Green has seven churches including St. Mary the Virgin, Acox Green, Holy Souls, a Methodist church on Shirley Road, a Baptist church on Yardley Road and the Gamkol Sharif Mosque. There is a large cultural diversity in Acox Green with a mix of people from all religions and races. In recent years, Acox Green has begun to see an increase in Polish residents. On 12 August 2006, Gospel Lane Skatepark was opened to the public. It was created using Neighborhood Renewal Fund grants and through the advice of youngsters who would use the park. The British Legion have a local office and club in the ward. Hall Green Little Theatre is also located in Acox Green. The area is served by Acox Green Library which has been in use since 14 June 1932. Outside the library is the Acox Green War Memorial. Notable residents Jasper Carrot, entertainer Dave Willits, singer in musicals, was born in Marston Green in 1952 and was brought up in Acox Green. While working for British Leyland, he got involved in amateur drama and his ability was spotted. He sang in the lead role of Valjean in Les Miserables in 1986, and took over the lead role from Michael Crawford in The Phantom of the Opera, and is famous as a top-class musical singer. Dave Pegg, musician and record producer, perhaps most well known as the bass guitarist and longest serving member of Fairport Convention. Topic transport Acox Green has very good transport links to Birmingham City Centre and Solihull. Birmingham's Moore Street and Snow Hill, and Solihull stations can both be reached in under 10 minutes by train from Acox Green Railway Station while Spring Road Railway Station is on the Stratford-upon-Avon line, and also goes to Moore Street and Snow Hill. Many bus routes are operated by National Express West Midlands Acox Green Bus Garage, located on Fox Hollies Road, including the Outer Circle 11A, 11C, which is the longest urban bus route in any European city at 27 miles long. 
Routes that serve Acox Green are Service 1, Five Ways, Acox Green via Moseley, Service 4, Birmingham, Solihull Station via Acox Green, Service 4A, Birmingham, Gospel Oak via Acox Green, Service 1A, QE Hospital, Acox Green via Moseley, Service 11A, C, Birmingham Outer Circle, Service 30, Acox Green, Solihull Station via Alton, Service 31, Birmingham, Solihull via Via Spark Hill and Acox Green, Service 36, Heartlands Hospital, Greet, via Stetchford and Tisley, Service 96, Acox Green, Sheldon via Alton, Service 99, Acox Green, Lee Village via Linden, Sheldon and Garrett's Green. The area can become congested, and there have been calls for a bypass to ease pressure on the roads. Businesses in the shopping area have opposed the ideas as they have concerns about loss of passing trade and residents do not want increases in traffic past their houses. Another idea which has been proposed in recent years to resolve some of the problems of congestion in the center, whilst also making the area more pedestrian friendly, is to introduce a type of high street design known as shared space. Topic Notes and References Notes References Topic External Links ACOX Green History Society Birmingham Picture Library Photographs of ACOX Green 1888 Ordnance Survey Map of Acox Green Grid Reference SP113833 Acox Green Focus Group Acox Green Neighborhood Forum